Hey everybody, how are you doing? It's Michael from the Recovery Team and today we're going to talk about how to enter the BIOS of your Windows 10 based laptop or PC. Let's go! That's a super interesting topic, isn't it? Well, before we dive into it, well, make sure to subscribe for more practical data solutions because we often make such kind of video tutorials. In fact, this video has been provoked by some of the questions you asked in regards to a previous episode where we were actually teaching you how to reinstall your Windows 10. Now, concerning the BIOS, this is a pre-boot environment which is generally used to alter different boot settings. Whether you want to change the boot order of your system or simply want to customize the functionality of the FN keys, you have to go into the BIOS and since most of the computers these days are running Windows 10, we're going to see some tips and tricks in regards to that operating system. Fortunately, entering the BIOS and configuring some settings is not rocket science, therefore I'm going to show you some tips and tricks. Theory comes first though, if you've never entered the BIOS of a system, well, I think you've missed the party. It's one of the most powerful solutions before your operating system actually loads. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. It's a pre-installed ROM chip on a system that is responsible for loading basic computer hardware during the initial boot. When you power on your PC, the BIOS will perform an initial test known as POST, Power On Self Test, which is going to check all the essential hardware components and figure out whether they are working right or not. Basically, POST is an automated test to verify if the system meets the requirements to boot up properly. In case the POST fails, you're most likely going to get stuck with an error message on the screen or if there is no screen at all, then you're going to hear a beep code. And this beep code is different depending on the manufacturer of the system board, but gives you some clues about troubleshooting. The BIOS is also responsible for locating the operating system by verifying which is the boot device and then it has the so-called bootstrap loader, a program which is supposed to locate the operating system and initialize the loading. In general, the BIOS has the following four functionalities. First, it's supposed to perform a post to verify the availability of all the hardware installed. Then, it's supposed to load the operating system and make sure that this operating system is running fine as well as verifying the health parameters of the hardware present. Also, it's supposed to load basic drivers which are needed whether we're about to deploy a new operating system or just to verify something, the BIOS is there and it's also supposed to save some important system information such as date, time and possibly access passwords to the BIOS. So now that you know what the BIOS represents, let's figure out how to enter it in order to make some configuration changes. The most common scenario, you want to deploy Windows 10, so the first step we need to go through is to configure the boot order. Ok, let's begin with the fact that there are multiple ways to enter the BIOS of a system and depends on your choice and level of comfort knowing the technology around you. If you're already logged into your Windows system and let's say you just want to verify some parameters, you can easily enter the BIOS through the settings on Windows 10. So let's take a look at the step-by-step -step procedure of entering the BIOS. You first click the Start menu icon. On the taskbar, you go to Settings. In the Settings window, choose the Update and Security option. As you can see, you're going to be prompted to the Update and Security Settings menu. Here, you click Recovery from the left sidebar and tap the Restart Now button and make sure to select the Advanced Startup tab. Wait for the PC to restart. You're going to notice that instead of a normal restart, your PC is rebooting into a different mode. Now, click on the Troubleshoot option and proceed further. In the Troubleshoot menu, you're going to see two different options, like Reset the PC and Advanced options. Click the second option, which is called Advanced. And now, select UEFI Firmware Settings and click Restart when asked. Give it a few seconds and that's it! Your PC will automatically boot into BIOS. Now you can customize the settings that you need and restart the computer as normal. Now, what if the computer is working, however the operating system is broken, because that's a very common scenario and actually one of the ways to troubleshoot Windows is by entering into the BIOS and changing the boot modes in order to boot from something else, but that's another long story. Now, each system board manufacturer integrates a quick key which enables you to boot into BIOS and that's something you can activate right at the start after powering on your computer. 
The best practice here is to make sure that you check your manufacturer's official website to find the user guides about the system board used or about the laptop used. In general, these keys are either escape or delete or one of the function keys like F1, F2, F9 and so on. Once you have this information in front of you, you're going to be able to enter the BIOS with three easy steps. First, we power on the computer and immediately start pressing the boot key to interrupt the normal boot. Make sure to press that key numerous times. Once the normal boot is successfully interrupted, your PC is automatically going to show you the advanced boot options. Different vendors have different look in BIOS setups, so figure out which is the way to enter yours and apply the necessary changes. Let me quickly show you how to configure the boot order. Once you apply the changes, make sure to save the configuration and reboot and your computer is going to reboot normally, but this time it's going to follow the choice that you have set inside the BIOS configuration. Well, wrapping up for today's episode, and you can see there's nothing super difficult about it, uh, we can generally divide the ways to enter the BIOS into two major groups. Online, where you have the operating system running, and as we have shown you with Windows 10, a few clicks and you're there, or offline where you use a quick key. And now a tip from our end, uh, be very careful with the configuration of the BIOS. If there's a parameter you're not very certain about and you're not sure what is going to be the outcome, better don't touch it. You know, check with a friend, check with someone who is dealing with computers, because if you mess the BIOS up, could be that your computer no longer starts, or could be that your operating system is no longer going to run smoothly and in a stable way. Well, that's been it for today. I really hope you had some fun and you've learned something new. If you have any questions, then as usual, we'll be keeping an eye on the comments below. I'm Michael from the Recovery Team. Make sure to be subscribed to the channel for more practical data solutions. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.